Gold Rush is past the halfway marker, and the season has been tough on the king of the Klondike. Now the mechanical problems are stacking up once again for Kevin Beats and his dad Tony Beats, who has invested as much in his own family in their hands-on education as he has financially in massive equipment. Beats is not the only one facing some hard truths, like last week, Parker Schnabel worried about his mining future by trying to find a new claim. But this week, Tony is at the halfway mark for his season goal, and if not for his son Kevin, a mechanic, he would be paying out a lot of money in repairs. In TV show's Ace exclusive clip, Tony says, Here we are, the season is kind of running out, and we're only halfway on that four and a half thousand ounce goal. In our clip below, Tony explains his rationale. He wants to ensure his work efforts achieve generational wealth, and he has no intentions of ever retiring. Can Kevin Beats fix Tony Beats's dilemma? Over halfway through the mining season, boss Tony Beats the king of the Klondike is battling to make a comeback after a disastrous miscalculation left him unable to mine an Indian river. So far, with one wash plant running on Paradise Hill, he's mined just over 2,000 ounces of gold. Explaining his problem in the clip, Tony says, we are a good $5 million in the hole because of the equipment we got the D11, we got the 950, we got a whole pile of rock trucks. I certainly would like to hit our goal. Now he's pinning his hopes on gold-rich white channel pay dirt from the 25-acre wall cut. The point of all this work is for his family, who surround him, work for him, and are the bedrock of his business. Tony says, I've been doing this for 38 years, and I'm not going to retire. I'm actually going to get as much gold out of the ground, get as much money in my pocket as I can, then our kids don't have to worry about AF asterisk 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 ing thing. One of his workers, Brad Merritt, radios Tony to tell him that the feeder keeps shutting down and starting and stopping. Tony agrees with Brad and tells him to shut the feeder down. He calls the eldest son Kevin to investigate. Kevin climbs into the feeder and immediately sees the issue is wear and tear. He says, it's going to be anywhere be over here to oh. Yeah, that's it right there, the sprocket is no longer a sprocket. It is now an idler meaning the teeth that grab the rail ain't there no more. She's smooth. No wonder she's skipping, so that means she's pretty bare. At the minimum, we'd have to replace that sprocket. Gold Rush airs Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time slash Pacific Time on Discovery.